What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. Today I'm going to teach you how to reset the service interval light in your Audi S4. Okay, today's episode only requires two tools. One is a laptop and the other is a bag cable. This is going to connect into your OBD2 port and the USB-N connects into your laptop. And we're going to be using VCDS to do the reset. Okay, so today's video requires us a little bit of working knowledge of using VCDS, but not much. So we're, we have our cable plugged in via USB to our laptop, and the other end is plugged into the OBD2 port. It's as simple as that. And what we're gonna do here is, um, let, let me do it this way. Okay, so now we're in VCDS. <clears throat> And it's very straightforward. So as long as you have a good connection here, we're going to click over here. It says service reminder interval reset. So we're going to turn the car on. The beeping is the keys turn forward in the ignition. We're going to hit SRI reset. Might take a, a minute for it to connect. Okay, there you go. All right, now if we look here, it says service reminder status, current value is one, mileage since service, 120, or what is that, 12,900 miles, something along those way, that line, uh, 279, so I haven't reset this in a long time. So probably what you should do is every oil change, reset your, your service, um, light your service reminder I haven't done that so uh, let's see here up at the top here you can see there's a drop down menu we're gonna say general service reset and now if you look down here this button that says perform SRI lights up so if you see what the way it was by default it's grayed out so you can't click it so we're gonna click on general service reset click perform SRI Give it a minute to do its thing. The new values have been successfully saved. SRI reset complete. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to say done. And if you want, you can go back in there and see what it does upon re-entry. See if it shows it as reset or not. Let's see. what it's doing is it's going through that module and reading all the values so it can present it to us in this nice little table here so you can see service reminder status is now zero and max uh, the mileage in service is zero days zero and time to service so max time is going to be 365 days so that's like if we don't drive the car much at all or exceed the the mileage value it'll throw a, a service light within one year. So it looks like the max mileage to service is nine times 1,000. So that light or that reminder turns on every 9,000 miles, it would appear. So that's all there is to it. You can hit done and go back, hit exit, and we're, uh, we're set here. Okay, so now we've performed the SRI reset. We're going to start the car up. And you do need to put it in gear before it'll display. So we're gonna hit, just put it in reverse. And as you can see there, it says okay. And that's how you reset your service reminder in interval. 